So I'm super excited today to show you the new profiler agent that we're adding to the next version of Visual Studio. And what I want to do here is I want to actually show you it live in action. And so to try and come up with some really cool, compelling demo, I've gone ahead and I have cloned this Sharp Ziplib uh, project from github.com. This is on NuGet. It's one of the top 100 most downloaded packages. So used by tons and tons of developers, it's real world code. And I wanna show you how the new profiler agent can help you optimize that just like it would optimize your code and help you make those delightful experiences for your customers. So like I said, I've gone ahead and I've downloaded the project. I've brought it up in Visual Studio. And in the new Copilot chat, I can talk to our new profiler agent, knows all about performance optimization, and I can say, hey, profiler, run the Adler 32 large update benchmark and optimize the code that it calls. And immediately you see the profiler agent starts by putting together kind of its plan of attack for what it's going to do. So it says, I'm gonna begin by running the benchmark to establish a performance baseline. Those of you that have done performance investigations before, you know you always wanna start out by measuring. So you understand where your code is at, you make your changes, you measure again, so you can see the delta. Then it's gonna analyze the results to identify optimizations. It's gonna go ahead and propose and implement those optimizations. And it's already taken off on the first step of this benchmark. And so you can see it's actually running that benchmark in the background and it's capturing all of that data using the profiler. It's gone ahead and it's hooked on our profiler's iDiagnoser benchmark.net integration. So it captures that rich data. And then once the benchmark is done running, it'll save a resulting diag session and then it can dig into that. And so like some of the agent stuff that Rhea was showing, the profiler agent knows how to really work with all of the tools that are available in Visual Studio and really help you kind of accomplish the tasks that you need. And so because it's a live demo, it's a little unpredictable. Hopefully this benchmark will stabilize soon, um, but it looks like it's running 180 to 200 milliseconds um, per iteration of the benchmark. So we'll just give it a minute or two. And now it's finishing up. You can see the whole spew of information at the end. Uh, and right now it's saving the resulting diag session, automatically opens up in Visual Studio. And much like I would begin a performance investigation using the UI, Copilot's gonna start immediately going in there and pulling that information from that diag session and then start giving me some suggestions. So you can already see it says it took about 200 milliseconds to process the large data buffer. It shows nearly all the time is spent in the update method. If I switch over to the CPU usage tool, well, there's the update method in the top functions and sure enough, most of the time is spent there. Uh, it says I will now analyze and optimize the code um, and it, it's steering it towards that update method. Would you like me to proceed with the optimization? This point, I could go ahead and say yes and just kind of let it go off. Um, but I want to be in the loop and I have that control. So I can say things like, what optimizations can we do? And now the profiler agent, again, because it can use all these rich tools, it knows the, the time was spent in that update method. It can then go and it can look at the code itself and it can see what's happening. And so I can also do that in the profiler and I can bring that up. I can see like, oh yeah, update looks expensive. There's a couple of lines where stuff is happening. Looks like this loop is pretty hot. And sure enough, the Copilot agent has already said like, hey, did you know that loop unrolling can help here? It also has some other optimizations, can minimize modulo operations. I think that's already being done in this code. If we're on modern versions of .NET, we can use span or we can even drop to unsafe code if we need to. Uh, if we're on .NET 6 plus, we can use SIMD vectorization. Don't think I'm gonna do that in a live demo, but it would be kind of cool. Uh, and you can reduce redundant calculations. And so again, it's saying, hey, uh, I can proceed with these. I can do these optimizations. Uh, would you like me to continue? And so let's start with the loop on roll, rolling optimization. 
And so I can have the conversation with the profiler agent. It's taking care of the toil work for me. It's worrying about actually running the different code. It's worrying about actually editing, doing the different optimizations, running, gathering the data, doing the comparisons. I can really just provide the brains in terms of like, what is the task that I want to do to try and help my customers? And so you can see it's already been reading different snippets of code. It's read the Adler 32. Hopefully it's gonna do the edit. <laughs> Gotta love up live updates or live demos with an LLM. Okay, let's try it one more time. Let's start with the loop on rolling optimization. Oh, there we go. So it says it's starting uh, with the main loop optimization to optimize loop unrolling. We can process multiple bytes per iteration, four or eight, um, reducing the loop overhead. It's gone ahead and it's read that Adler 32 um, function. It's gone ahead and it's made the edits for us. It's then checked and see like, hey, are there any errors in there? It's gone ahead and it's actually run a build and now it's rerunning the benchmarks. So it's doing all those good things that you would expect in a performance optimization. It's doing some sort of measurement. It's coming up with some sort of hypothesis or an experiment to run. It's doing that experiment. It's running it again. And then it's going to actually validate that like, hey, the changes that we're making, these are actually impactful and this is what we should do. And you can see it's gone ahead. It's captured that trace again. And this time the mean is 168. So it, the loop rolling optimization reduced the mean execution time from 200 milliseconds to 168. It just improved the performance of this code by 17%. Uh, and it took care of all the toil work for us. And again, I can continue to do more and more investigations um, and I can do more experiments, but with this Copilot can really just do all that toil work for me and I can again focus in on the things that are interesting to me and I can be the one that's running the experiment. So with that, thank you.